Dude, last episode went pretty well. <laughs> I took down something that I'm absolutely terrified of. Did not expect to take down and take him down with ease. Summons in this beautiful ancient Pithecus Prime right here as well. And then backed it all up by taming this little guy. <laughs> yeah, have a look at him. This guy was an absolute pest to tame up. 20 element it took me to tame my beautiful little Ferox here. But um, it actually, it actually wasn't too bad, to be honest with you. It was pretty much feed element, run away, let him beat on any wild dinosaurs in the area, and then go do it all over again. 20 times. I didn't expect to do it, nor do I even know why I did it. But hey, we've got it. So we don't need to worry about doing that, right? I think this is an important thing. All I know is that these guys here drop little messages up on top of the screen whenever they're summoned and whenever they die. And um, well, I, I tamed one, so it didn't die, which feels pretty good. <laughs> but the question becomes now, how do we back up? what went down in last episode. I know there's a couple extra Megas out there. Mega King Kongs, that is. I think there is at least. I've seen them roaming around all over the map and I can only assume it's not just one Mega King Kong, but multiple Mega King Kongs. Uh, I'd like to take down all of them. I want all of them. I want to take them all down. I want to steal all their loot. I want to get everything I can possibly get from them. But anyways, no, I'm not going to be taking them down. Today, we're going to be turning our attention to something else, something I've been wanting to take down for quite some time, except for one, I'm absolutely terrified of it because I have PTSD from this creature it had it I I just remember bad things I think of this thing and it terrifies the living daylights out of me but two we're actually not ready to do it yet but I still hope to do it we just got a few little preliminary tasks that we need to fulfill beforehand I am of course torn, talking about this the death worm the prime death worm shrine we need to craft up now unfortunately I'm missing some yeti heads so I'm gonna jump on my trusty old fella over here my apex fire wyvern prime and we're gonna head Exactly there. We're going to head to the snow. I'm going to find some yetis. Three yetis. I already got two yeti heads. I don't know where they came from, but we've got two of them already. Actually, I should keep my eyes peeled. Um, okay, I was I was thinking maybe we might see a leech down here, but I did not expect to be seeing... <laughs> hey! Wait, that's... A, that's... That's Mega King Kong! Extra fast, extra damage, extra... Sorry, defense, extra targeting range. Um, you know what? Just in case things do get out of hand today, maybe I should just be equipped and prepared for the worst. I am, of course, talking about I need my health potions and maybe a little chibi on my shoulder just in case things get a little bit, I don't know, unpredictable. What can I say? But what in the world? <laughs> I didn't expect to be running into one of them so soon, that's for sure. Um, I got some special health potions down here somewhere. You know what? I'm going to carry this around with me too because this thing expires in a few hours. So I got to make sure I actually use this thing like properly um what else do i need probably my armor i got a little chest piece here we could throw on but bada bada boom we got the full set on and oh pick me pick me pick me uh oh 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 argy argy's who i used uh yesterday i used you yeah all right we'll pop you up on the shoulder anyways all right now at least if we do find ourselves in a bit of a tight situation we will be prepared for it i hope i don't know i don't plan to i just want to kill some apex yetis but um, now I've already lost King Kong. Man, I just can't believe I just like look over here and see King Kong straight away. That's that's like blown my mind a touch. And now he's gone. I have no idea where he's gone to. Anyways, I'm sure we'll cross paths with him again. I honestly don't know what it is about these King Kongs, but they just stand out. Anyways, we're near the snow. I plan to go into the snow. I assume this is where one would find a Yeti, uh, but I, I don't know for certain. I guess I'll just have to keep my eyes peeled. Hopefully, I can spot a Yeti with the same proficiency that I can spot a giant Mega King Kong. Except Yetis are much smaller, I think. Anyways, let's see what we can do. Oh, hey there, little... F oh, okay, no, no. I just wanted to show him for a second. We got a little unique one here. Well, I'm not looking for no special... I'm not giving no special treatments to uniques today. We are here to kill... That's about all we're here to do. In fact, we're also here to not receive an Apex Yeti head. Are you kidding me? All right, well, let's, let's, let's find another one, I suppose. All right, take two. But this time around, not unique. Does that mean we're going to have better luck? No. No, I don't think so. Again, no Yeti head. We are off to a shocking start. <gasps> hey, how you doing? Unique Apex Dodo Rex? Uh-huh. 
I mean, I d didn't know that these guys come in apex form, or did I? Um, that's, that's, okay, that's the first time I've seen one of these. Hold on just a second, we might be a little bit distracted from deathworms right here, because all I know is that these guys here can be evolved into dirty wyverns, I'm pretty sure. Have a look at this. Acquire and place all three wyvern eyes. I've got all three wyvern eyes and a dodo wyvern prime head. I don't have that. Oh, maybe I do actually. Anyways, place them all inside of an apex dodo rex. Mount and press X and you can get yourself. Oh my gosh. We have just changed our current trajectory for today's mission. Um, all right, what, what, what is it? What is this even doing in the snow, man? It's a Dota Rex. These guys are like fire breathers. So interesting, interesting. Um, all right, let me, how am I gonna do this thing? I gotta, I gotta whip this. Uh, oh, I just dropped my pygmy. I was like, what am I looking at right now? Hold your horses, everybody. Uh, let me just pick my guy up. What am I doing? What am I doing? You back on my shoulder, mate. Okay, 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 okay. Now, I've got these bows. I've got these arrows. Rather, all right, this is not working out. I'm just trying to... There we go. Okay. Apparently, when you press R, when you're flying a dinosaur, you throw your mount, you'll pick me off. I just wanted to change my projectiles to tranks. Anyways, let's see if I can knock this thing out nice and easily. Oh, it looks like we can. Surely, you can't do much to me. I'm strong. I'm far superior to you, Dota Rex. And you're going to take a nap. <laughs> yes <gasps> I didn't bring anything to help me uh, feed this guy did I but that's fine there's plenty of stuff around that we can use to help us as long as I don't accidentally attack my friend here oh so I'm kind of still keeping my eyes peeled for any yetis that might appear but no yetis yet either okay that's fine what do we got I need prime meat or just something okay whatever let me find some meat uh that's that's pelts that's hide that's raw meat uh Kano I see you over here mate you wouldn't happen to have some prime meat for me, would you? <laughs> All right. Oh, do I have any grenades? Probably not. I'm not equipped for this. I didn't come out to tame anything today. I'm not here for this with this with this purpose or intention. It's kind of caught me a little off guard, to be honest. Um, what do we need? Oh, my guy, he's like waking up too. Oh no, he's gonna wake up. Oh no, he's gonna wake up. Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh no. Um, I like I got two options. And I don't have many options. I need a grenade. Oh uh, gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, you know what? No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna let him go. I'm gonna let him go. I'm gonna go get some grenades. I've got some back at base. He's gonna wake up. It is what it is. There's not much we can. Oh, knock him out again. That was really easy. We'll just repeat the process. Now, where have I placed my grenades at? Okay. We have the grenades. Now let's get back to uh, the old Dodo Rex. Man, if I can get this guy evolved up today, that'd be the best. Now these grenades are gonna help us in two ways. For one, it's gonna keep my guy asleep. But for two, it's also probably, well, I mean, it's meant to drain his hunger as well. So I'm hoping I can do exactly that. Now it just runs straight at me, mate. Man, this bow has been an absolute lifesaver recently. Helps us get ourselves, take down the lava golem a couple days ago. And now it's gonna help us get a Dodo Rex. Oh, that's right. I need to grenade you. Also, I'm going to need some more meat, aren't I? Because I went and fed it all to you and you ate it all. All right, we're going to give you regular meat for a second because I don't have any mutton or prime meat on me. So just take that. I don't care. You can, you can start eating it if you feel like it. That's cool. I need to go and kill something. All right, buddy. I know you are eager to wake up, but it is not that time just yet. Have another grenade. How are we looking? Hey, that's much better. You know what? Have another one as well. I got plenty. I got plenty. Have all the grenades, buddy. There we go. Come on. Eat the food. Eat it all. Eat, it all. eat all the food. It's actually not draining his hunger as fast as I thought it would. But at least it's jacking up his torpidity. And that is what matters. Oh, here we go. One more piece. Oh, this guy's unique. I didn't even see that. Yo, it's a unique Apex Dodo Rex. The only downside here is the fact that it's not um, its not level over like a thousand. It's only level 900, but still, I don't want to sound unappreciative or anything. He's, uh, he's a strong old boy. Or at least we will we'll determine very soon if he is or not. But there we go. We've got ourselves a unique Apex Dodo Rex. Uh, I'm going to pick you up very quickly, mate. And you better believe we are going straight home. Oh, yeah. You know what? Apex Yeti mission. It's getting put on the back burner for a second. For I need to see if I can evolve this thing. 
Wait a second. We have taken down a, 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 a dodo wife and <gasps> I've got everything I need for this. I'm pretty sure at least. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Dodo Rex. Check. <laughs> Unique Apex Dodo. Ah! What are you doing? Okay, good. Good. Oh my gosh. We are we're gonna be best of friends. We're gonna be best of friends. You just took down an itchy thornus. How did you know I have a hate? I have a hate for itchy thornuses. <laughs> Anyways, wait, why did you only gain 89 levels? Was this taming effectiveness really bad? I have to go look back at that because I thought he had good taming effectiveness. Either way, his eyes. We've got a poison eye. We've got a lightning eye. I'm surely got a fire eye somewhere too. We do have a fire eye. Uh, but do we have a dodo wyvern head? We must. We must have a dodo wyvern head. I've... I, 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 this is a dodo rex head that is a prime dodo wyvern head we've got everything that we need okay 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 am i meant to be i don't know if i'm meant to level him up or not first i don't i have no idea but history tells me no um hop on him and i assume all i gotta do is hit x oh we're getting a prime dodo wyvern baby <laughs> what i think or did i just kill him <gasps> nope wait no i think i did oh he's got an egg Egg's gone. Egg is in here, though, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. Well, in good news, while I was uh, attending to Harry, who had just woken up from his little morning nap, my, my dodo wyvern egg is now ready to be hatched. So let's do exactly that. Hello, my dodo wyvern. It is time to, well, yeah, be hatched. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. But we got ourselves a baby apex dodo wyvern prime. And just like that... We have our souls. Yeah, all right. I just realized I made, I did make a big mistake. Oh, I'm going to hear about that one in the comments, aren't I? So this is what I was curious about. Was the level of this guy going to be based on the... Oh, actually, I don't know now that I think about it. I think he always would have been a 989. I guess I could have tested it out by putting some levels into him. But right now, we're, we're, we're never going to know. We're never going to know. Unless somebody in the comments tells me otherwise. But you guys kind of get it 50-50 right and wrong sometimes. So I don't honestly know. Regardless, though, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pick you straight up into your little bowl. And uh, we're going to let him grow, imprint, do all that fun stuff. And I <laughs> am going to drop down into my little metal storage box here. And I can bust out a brand new saddle that I've been waiting to equip on somebody. This guy here, armor 147.9. I only got this thing the other day. I've been waiting for somebody to use it on. Well, now we have the opportunity to do exactly that. Also, did my RG grow or something? Cause like, are they are they always this big? I don't remember him being this big. It's, it's, it's enormous. It's the size of me. I, I swear it's grown. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. Anyways, how's my little dude here going? Currently 40% grown. He matures in about a minute's time. I honestly, I need to say it. Days like today are my favorite missions. My favorite adventures. Because you head out to do one thing and something completely unexpected happens or occurs. And all the stars align and just you end up somewhere you just didn't anticipate. They're the best adventures. The ones you'd never expected to have. And today's adventure is netting us, I think, well, our second boss prime when you think about it. Third, third, sorry, forgot about you, buddy. Sorry, mate, I, I didn't mean to forget about you, old ancient Pithecus prime, but I did. My bad. Anyways, we got our manticore, we've got our Pithecus. These guys, you know, they're, they're all primes as well, but they're not, they're not like boss primes, you know, like these guys. Anyways, my guy is just complete. So let's unleash him from his little bowl. And oh my gosh, he's massive. <laughs> he's huge did i give you your saddle yet here it is here is your saddle and we can take off to the skies let's see what you are made of friend yeah it's not a bad melee attack but it's your ranged attacks that i'm most interested in in fact before we do head out on this one here what we should do very very quickly is hop into here Grab ourselves a cloth set of armor, the complete set. That way we can get our 300x, 500x, whatever it is, experience buff. And we can go and kill a few things to get you nice and maxed out. So, uh, yeah, let's do exactly that. Let's get these, let's get this guy nice and strong. Actually, I should have an RG on my shoulder as well. I don't know why I put my RG down now that I think about it. Our RG would have actually given us a good extra experience buff as well. But I guess, uh... I don't know what I was thinking. Anyways, let's have a look at our other attacks. We've got a lightning blast that deals actually crazy damage. That's that's actually really good damage. 
That's actually re I'm not even we haven't even leveled up yet. So that's good. Sea attack is a fire breath, which is even stronger. I just need to find somebody like strong enough to, you know, survive a blast of it so we can actually see how much damage it deals. Either way, that's really, really good. And I'm assuming X attack is going to be a poison blast that just fires wherever it wants. Yeah. Woo! That deals good damage. Oh, no, that was only 200. I thought it said 2,000. Still good. Still good. I'm just trying to work out how it's controlling itself and how it decides where it's going to go. But regardless, maybe I'm just really bad at aiming it. I don't know. Oh, we got a little house down here I can shoot at. Destroy the house. Maybe I should just munch it. Dude, this guy does crazy damage to structures. I mean, it's a shame we're not in a PvP world or anything, but still pretty cool. Now, X, do we have a, sorry, a control attack? No, do we have an X? Oh, X was the poison blast. Yep, fair enough. All in all though, let's have a look. 138 levels, let's get allocating. First things first, gotta get that health nice and high because currently it's pretty abysmal if I may say so. Oh, it's just some vultures coming. I thought we had some little crazy dimorphodons or something. Next thing, we're going to get some speed because obviously I like a little bit of speed on my guys. Probably a touch of stamina, but we'll leave that up to our chibi to... No, nah, chibi. Our, our dude. We'll leave it up to our little pigby to help us out with. And last but not least, the melee damage. I'm just going to put it all into melee damage, I think. My one concern for this guy currently, though, is certainly his health. It's not very high. Speed's okay, but nothing like astronomical. Um, what about this Kano here? Also, I just saw remnants. <gasps> wow, that, that lightning blast down to was 1.1 thousand damage per tick. Do you remember these little gates that we placed down when we were trying to tame our first ever Apex Kano? Oh, it feels like a lifetime ago. Anyways, our bite attack does that now. And we've got 13 extra levels up our sleeve. So let's get, at least get him to 50,000. Man, this guy's not as strong as I was hoping, but that's it. He's maxed out. Well, what I can do now is equip, re-equip our chitin gear, which is going to go and power my guy up. And we can truly see what sort of damage he's going to. He's really slow. Oh, his stamina is like really low. All right. Well, melee damage at least hits pretty well. But you're kind of getting the vibe. My guy here ain't as strong as I was hoping for him to be, which is really disappointing. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's just let his stamina recharge a touch. And uh, I'll just go fight a regular manticore. Like, you know what, though? That, that is a strong lightning blast. Like, all, all everything aside, that's a good hit. The problem is, it's not really going to help us against primes. It's not going to help us against... Yeah, like, guys like this. It's not really going to... Oh, what's that? Is that just a regular one? I don't know, but that's an ice one. That'll kill me in an instant. Like a, like a real quick instant. Like an instant instant. Instantary, inst I will die, is what I'm trying to say. That is a, you know what though? That's a really good, f you know, I kind of want to put him to the test. Do I, should we just put him to the test and see what happens? Cause that is, a, that was a ridiculously strong fire blast. My poison deals how much damage now? Like that's not that great. But the fire blast, like I think this fire blast could deal a good 50,000 damage from a single breath. It's going to be silly to do, but do we just give this a shot? There's almost certainly better things that we could be fighting to truly test this out with. One of those certainly is not Mega King Kong, but there he is. Is that the same one? I think so. Fast defense, targeting range. I told you, these guys just roam all over the shop. Just like this guy. A Prime Argentavis. All right, that is literally like the... Po <gasps> golden Pteranodon! Hold on, I, I need to... Oh, gosh. You know, Golden Pteranodon, 100% first. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Thank you very much for the health potions and all of the meat. You are the... Oh, my gosh. That is a ridiculously good rodent saddle. All right, now, back onto this guy here. If I lose to this guy... Actually, I should heal up first, especially now that we've got some extra health potions. Where are my health potions at? There they are. All right. Give me one of those ones too. All right. I got a good feeling. I feel like I can burn this guy to a crisp. Let's have a look, okay? Look at this. Look at it. We do a good damage. That's just our fire blast. Lightning. I, wait, where did he... Am I still... Is he... I was going to say, is he still right in front of me? Dude, the lightning's crazy strong. Oh my gosh. Oh wait. What am I even damaging? Is it... Might not be the RG. Yeah, all right. If he, as long as you're close enough to him, 
Dude, that's so good. That's so good. All right, lightning, lightning, lightning. Yeah, come on, come on. Where are you going? Yeah, thank you very much. Gave me some boots, gave me some other jazz, none of which I'm really whatever about. Whatever, baby, we did it. <laughs> that was nice and easy. All right, I'm honestly, this is going to be, oh, I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't do it. This is really, really dumb. I am going to throw him at a manticore. <laughs> you know what? No, I think maybe I go looking for, I, I just don't think a nice manticore is a smart decision. <laughs> honestly, like anything but that, and I probably got a good shot at it, except for obviously Mega King Kong down there. That's bad. Also, I started from like a lava golem or a poison golem. Those guys are going to be bad too. Perhaps a dragon, maybe if there's a dragon around so maybe i could take that on well what do we have here <laughs> Whoa. i've been looking for one of these guys and he's low on health which means if i'm quick it's probably a good time to just jump straight into this thing and do it where's my thing consume that um oh i got dismounted okay uh no don't want to ride a passenger either i want to ride my guy and where is he where did he go? Where did he go? I saw him flap off into the... He's above us somewhere, isn't there? He is. I can kind of vaguely see him. All right. Health potions going in. This is a terrible idea. I kind of... Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, you know what? Let's go. What do we got to lose? What do we got to lose other than our Dodo Ivan? But hey, we didn't have our Dodo Ivan at the start of today, so I don't really mind. I'm just... Okay, I don't want to get hit. Ouch. That kind of hurt. 15,000 damage. I don't have a lot of health, uh, but I'm certainly faster than this guy. I just... Oh, gosh. Can you go away with your fireballs, please? Is that a tracking one? Oh, oh, it is. It was tracking me. All right, either way, I can't actually... I'm, like, too fast for him. What are you doing? Are you just... Oh, okay, yeah. Your fireballs hurt, mate. Your fireballs really, really hurt. He's just sitting still. I mean, sure. Hey, oh, go. Oh, go. Oh, okay. All right, let me heal up, please. Let me heal a touch. We'll come back for more. Oh, okay. Okay. I got to at least get hits on him if we're going to do this. But for whatever reason, I, I'm so confused. As what, what, he's, he's, just, he's just gone off targeting me. He has no interest in targeting me. I don't... I, this is good. No, it's not. I'm low on health. Health potions going down again. Um, okay, fireball's coming for me. Oh, okay, that one nearly killed me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm actually on the ropes. Why is he... What's, what's frozen him? Oh, now he's kind of chasing us, but I'm like really low on health. All right, special health potion is going in. That might kill me. Okay, okay, okay. I was so low on health just then. Uh, all right, we're going to finish this off. I got no idea what this guy's problem is, but it's a good problem to have. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he came so close to killing me, like, on two occasions just then. But let's have a look at what we've got. we got a glider suit skin. That's actually pretty cool. We've got two prime kibbles. We've got Mastercraft Ox. Yeah, whatever. We've got a zombie wyvern head. Placing the zombie or prime wyvern's inventory for... 50% uh, stat increase. We got Scorpion Enhanced Saddle. I don't think I actually got one of those yet. Uh, Mastercraft thingamabobby. We've got boots. I think I already had those boots though. We've got a Plesio Saddle. And this, a Prime Wyvern Head. So we've got two heads out of that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's actually not terrible to be honest. That, that, that was kind of worth it. I'm honestly surprised our Dodo Wyvern won that. I, I didn't expect that. But uh, pleasant, very pleasant surprise. And you know what? It was uh, probably a good idea not taking on the Manticore. I think Manticore would have been certain death. But just look at the size of him after eating an unstable kibble. He's huge. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Well, look, today didn't go as planned, but in a good way. Uh, we obviously didn't summon in the death worm, but you know what? There's probably a lot less death involved as a result of that. I mean, how can I complain? I got myself a prime dodo wyvern.